question that bothers me a lot of time uh, how do you manage to deal with the uh, I know that your father is your coach uh, how how do you do this do you do it I see him come and speak with you during the matches and you just listen and not because there are a lot of players who can give a punch to your father <laughs> you know um, my dad has been coaching me since I was a little girl and uh, without him I wouldn't be where I am right now and you know he's a uh, good he's not only my father he's my friend he's my coach he's my mentor he's everything so you know it's uh, I'm just happy that he still wants to travel with me and still want to coach me and And uh, of course, I think like everyone else, sometimes you fight, you don't agree, but you know, we become good friends again uh, very short after. We know that you're uh, in, the players, in the players committee of the WTA Tour. If it was, depends on you, what would you change in the WTA Tour? Well, I'd like to change a few things, but I think it's better for me to talk internally with the players and with the, the, with the tour and solve the, the things there, because if I start talking to the media and everything, it will just uh, look like I'm talking negative about the tour, which is actually doing pretty well right now. Yeah, I wanted to ask if you feel a little bit of frustration because of uh, the weakness, I don't know if you think, because uh, you're the number one player here, and I just think that it was uh, not easy, but very, uh, very comfortable for you to play the Spanish and then you get to the doubles game, and you haven't touched your ball a lot uh, during the game, so you feel frustration because the Danish team is uh, weaker than you. You know, I always come to Fed Cup, and... Uh just enjoy to be here it's team sport it's now for this week and usually I'm always playing for myself but now we're playing for the country so um, I go in here and I fight all what I can and I do the best in my singles and in the doubles and if we win it's great if not I mean the other girls were just uh, too good so I mean it's uh, I just look positive at everything and we have a young team I mean I'm uh, the oldest one in my team so <laughs> You know, I'm starting to feel it a little bit, yeah. Two questions. First of all, how did you feel with your volley, especially in the doubles? And the second one, have you seen a kangaroo or something like that? I felt pretty good with the volleys. I think uh, I had some, some good ones in there, and I feel like I'm improving them all the time. And unfortunately, I think the kangaroos got scared of me, so <laughs> <laughs> they're not around anymore. <laughs> I think it's very nice. I think uh, I have a lot of supporters here and it's, it's nice to play in, uh, on the center court and, and with a lot of people there. Caroline, I know you've been asked about this before. Um, what did you hear before you came here about the situation in Egypt and how worried were you at all before coming here and playing tennis? I mean, this is so close by. Well, I, of course, I, I heard about the Egypt and, uh, and the demonstrations and still going on. And, um, and I know that it's not very far away. So, of course, I, I wanted to hear how, how everything is here, if everything is safe. But, you know, the security here is, is great and they really take care of the players. So, uh, there's nothing to worry about. If you could tell me... Um, How does the player make the separation between things that happen outside and uh, manage to focus on the court and playing? 
in similar situations? Um, you mean outside what's happening in the world yes. or what well, whether yeah, whether uh, this is security risk or some other political turbulence at the time? Well, uh, when you're on the court, I think sports is uh, it's not political. I think sports is we play with each other, against each other, and I think in sports you just uh, it doesn't matter what country you're from or how your skin color is or anything. Um, we're friends on the tour and we uh, we enjoy to spend each other's, uh, spend time with each other. So I think it's uh, it's a very good um, role model. Okay. Very yeah. good. I think yeah, for for everyone around the world, I think they should just uh, look and, and somehow try to agree with each other. But I know it's tough. So you personally, in, in terms of concentrating on the court? On well, the concentrating, when I'm on the court, I'm 100% focused. I feel safe here, so I, there's nothing to worry about. And uh, of course, if there's something I would feel unsafe with, then I would uh, ask for more security, but there's no problems here. Uh, as you mentioned, you have many fans here in Israel, and we're at the start of the tennis season. Uh, your fans will want to know when they will be able to celebrate with you a Grand Slam winning, maybe this year. Well, uh, hopefully I'll win a Grand Slam title. Uh, if it's this year, I don't know. Um, now I'm still young, I keep improving, I keep uh, trying to play better for every time I step on the court, and we'll have to see. Hopefully I'll, I'll win a Grand Slam. Maria okay. Sharapova, uh, your colleague, has been here something like two years ago. When she came to Israel, she was staying in Tel Aviv, was staying in Tel Aviv. And all the country was, uh, you know, a blast, and uh, she had something like five security guys, and uh, you came here, it's been a silence, you're sleeping with, the, with your team, you don't want to sleep in better terms, so you, well, don't, you don't act like a superstar. Well, first of all, I think if I uh, took five security guys with me around, I think that would bring more attention than when I'm walking around like this. So I think I'm more safe uh, just uh, standing a little bit in the background. But, you know, I think just because I'm a better tennis player, I'm playing, uh, I'm playing tennis around the world. I've reached my, my dream and my goal to, to reach number one ranking. I don't think that that's changed me as a person. And, you know, we have this Fed Cup. This is a team competition, and I enjoy to, to spend the time with my team and, and have the good team spirit. And I mean, it wouldn't make sense for me to stay somewhere else. I think it's a good hotel. I think it's uh, it's good food there, and, and they take good care of us. So I, I don't see any reason why I should stay somewhere else. You're number one in the world. You you've done many many campaigns and you're known all over the world don't you feel sometimes it's like a bit too much how do you deal with the pressure and that involves of this being number one in the world um, well to be honest uh, I don't feel any pressure I, um, I think pressure is when you're put somewhere and you don't feel like you actually belong there I think if you feel like you belong there, you've worked hard for it, and uh, the results are coming, I think I should just enjoy it. And uh, and I mean, when I was a little girl, I, this is what I was dreaming of. So I think every other girl on, on the tour would wish to be in the number one ranking. So why should I why should I stress out over it? I just enjoy myself. I play. I do the best as I can, and I try to win tournaments. And, and that's what uh, it's all about. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.